a few years later after you know being born in Sacramento and then weeks later actually moving to Phoenix and then finally to San Diego I lived in San Diego talk about a beautiful place Wow I remember going to SeaWorld a big whales jumping around Shamu was awesome uh, my best memory I have of SeaWorld is actually the cinnamon rolls that they had outside uh, right before you went in and uh, oh boy they were so delicious I should have been a fat portly little child but I was not I just liked my cinnamon rolls uh, we went to the beach I, I remember finding some uh, some glass melted out of sand buried in the sand uh, we, we'd sort of play underneath the lifeguard houses and uh, yeah I, I just I love the beach I don't like salt water now because it tastes funny and it hurts my eyes but back then uh, yeah that was a thing to do guess what I had long hair yes I had a mullet although they did not call it a mullet then no they called it curls because oh dude you have curls right on bro yeah uh-huh how cool was I but wait I get cooler I had a pierced ear that's right I was about two years old and I got my ear pierced I don't really remember why only the fact that my dad got his ear pierced probably lost a bet and uh, and, be, and that was just a cool thing you just got one one you got a stud you got a, a hoop or whatever but uh, yeah it wasn't considered uh, oh he has an ear pierced it was considered really cool I was on the forefront of style yeah that's right um, well I do recall how they did my ear piercing do you know how they do ear piercings this is terrifying if you've never got your ear pierced this is how they do it they well several ways they can stick a needle in just manually or they use a gun that's right a gun and they just, Here's your, your, oh, you're a little kid, and, and they put this giant monstrosity right next to your face, and of course I just burst into tears. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to get my ear pierced. And they're like, hold him down. He will look pretty. So I got my ear pierced. And then after the initial jab, which hurt so bad, oh, it's like they're ripping my head off. It probably didn't, but that's what was going through my mind. Um, yeah, after that, I felt pretty cool with my earring in my left ear and uh, my curls and yeah hanging out at the beach when we finally did move from San Diego uh, we had a avocado tree out in front of our house and this is one of my more vivid memories I have and uh, the day we were moving we got some avocados and we put them under the wheels of the moving uh, truck and so whenever it would creep forward or back uh, it would squish these uh, avocados and of course us being unruly little neighborhood kids we'd all gather around and and just look at these drivers come to think of it I don't know why the drivers kept moving back and forth back and forth I wonder if they were doing it to squish the avocados that we were putting under there. I wonder why. I don't know. But I remember standing there with all the neighborhood kids uh, yelling, guacamole, guacamole, over and over again. I had no idea what guacamole was. Uh, but uh, anyway, hey, I'm going to go and merge onto traffic before I crash into someone yelling, guacamole, guacamole.